Hello, this is H.E. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG! This time, I screwed up the Dota minigame, so let's try that one again. This time, I'm going to be very quiet so I can concentrate. And so you can get the song stuck in your head all day, just like me. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, they're gonna try and fake you out here, but uh, the first two jumps you gotta do, pretty easy to recognize. Also, if you jump, and he... Yeah, if you jump prematurely, like I did in the last episode, then he will... Yeah, you see, he's trying to fake you out there. But yeah, if you jump prematurely, you'll get caught. Haha! -ha! There we go! First try! Not bad. Yeah, this minigame's pretty easy once you know where to jump. So. And now I get to be Golden Mario forever! But for winning the minigame, we get a feather! Boosts your speed by 20, if I recall correctly. Uh, well, let me, let me check that out. Let's see. Peach. Where are you? There you are. But yeah, it's a really good accessory for boosting your speed if you don't have the... Yeah, boost by 20. Yeah, if you don't have the Troopa pen, or if you just don't like that minigame for whatever reason. So, but I'm going to stick with the Quartz Charm and my current party members, so let's head on out and try to, well, do something around here. Try to expose Valentina's plan. I mean, more than it already is. I mean, expose it to the point where even these cloud people can figure it out. Ha ha. You don't polish something by stabbing it. Or pecking it. Or whatever. I would know. I played the flute for um, over eight years. I had to polish the damn thing a lot. That's why I was first chair. A lot. I'm a robot statue. Yeah, yeah. They've played this JRPG before. But anyway, let's take a look around for some treasure. And they got monsters all over this place. Holy cow. Hmm. I wonder if Ultra Flame would work here. Because the thing is, is that the muckle enemy there is weak to fire. So, you know, let's put it to use. Why not? See how well I can get that to work. It hits a random enemy, though. That's the thing. Wow! That worked immensely better than I thought it was going to. Unfortunately, he does counterattack for a lot of... Well, not a lot of damage, but... Enough damage! But anyway, yeah. Muckle, weak to fire. The spinning pinwheel guy. Well, his name's Pinwheel. Uh, he doesn't have any weakness. So don't worry about that. In fact, I don't think any of the new enemies in this area are weak to ice or thunder. Or ice or thunder! Sorry. And so, yeah, that's why I'm not bringing Milo along with me. Because, yeah, it's, you can't exploit elemental weaknesses. Who's that guy in the back? Oh, Jawful. For some reason, I thought it said Fawful. No, that's another game, viewers. I don't even know which game. I just know it's from a video game. But anyway... Uh, yeah, Jawful is asleep in the back there. Uh, let's see, the Orbison, yeah, they heal, but they don't have a whole lot of HP. Yeah, we can take him out. And, let's see, okay, so, the thing with Jawful is that he starts the battle asleep. So let's say there's three enemies instead of four in the battle, like there is in this one. And Peach got her turn and Jaffa was the only enemy left, you want her to defend, or whoever your third turn is, to defend instead of attacking him if you can't one-shot him. He's got 278 HP. Because if you attack him, then he'll wake up and he'll get a turn before you can finish him off. Even though he's asleep, his ATB is still going. Or whatever the timing mechanics are for this game. But anyway, gained a level there. So let's go for some more magic there. Boost jump and fire a little bit more. 
Now, if you take that doorway up there, that'll just take you to the big hallway or grand hallway. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Almost at max flowers there. Hmm. Trying to get into a fight with that pinwheel guy. I can, can't I? Hmm. Well, anyway. Uh, oh! Well, uh, yeah, I glossed over this guy earlier, so I'll show him again. Uh, Slingshy! Yeah, nothing special about him. No elemental weakness, no resistances. Nothing special there at all. So pay no attention to him. Not even gonna bother doing a time bit on that guy. He's so weak. Uh, no, no, I think I want to hold on to my experience. Don't want to gamble that. Hmm, apparently that pinwheel guy is awake now, but now I can't fight him. Whatever, I'm overleveled as it is. Anyway, okay, so we're back where we started. Now let's go up this way. I just went to that left path to get that flower. All right, and after clearing out all those guys, got another level for Mallow there. Let's go for some more power there. Eventually, I may decide to switch the experience egg off of him, but for now, I'm just going to leave it there. Really, I'm already at end game levels anyway, but I don't use Mallow, or I use Mallow a lot. I don't have him in the reserves a lot, so yeah, it's a good time to keep him on the experience egg. Uh, let's see, we're doing okay on flowers, and uh, this chest here contains a recovery mushroom, so let's skip that for now. All right, and clear after clearing out a few of those battles, get a level there. Uh, let's just keep on going for more power, I think. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for more power. Because you don't need more magic. But anyway, there's a new enemy here. The shaman in the back there. So, yeah, you want to kill them first. Because if you don't, they might run away. Now, I'm going to show you something with... Uh, I almost said Fawful again, no. Jawful. Uh, now, if I just defended here... He would just sleep through his next turn. But if you attack him, he's going to wake up. And then he's actually going to get an attack before someone else can finish him off. So don't do that. Whoever your third character is in one of these kind of battles, just have them defend, get through Joffle's next turn, and then you can get in three attacks to finish him off rather quickly there. So that's the easy way. And I think we got another new enemy here. Let's see, Bluebird. Let's see, how am I doing on FP? Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Ultra Flame. Uh, Bluebird is weak to fire! So, let's use that on everyone. Maybe I should have just used Jump on the Heavy Trooper there. But I figured, eh, let's go, let's kill two birds with one stone, so to speak. But, alright, got him. And for doing so, what do we get? Oh, right. Okay, well anyway, we get another flower there. See, are we at max yet? Not quite. Almost. Oh yeah, I've kind of glossed over it. Yeah, these bird statues, yeah, they can come to life. I just kind of forgot about that. It's just, it's just a common everyday occurrence in my life. I just didn't think anything of it. Oh yeah, sh statue coming to life? Yeah, yeah, happens all the time. But anyway, yeah, let's keep going for power for Bowser there. Ooh, nice, another one for Peach there. Get some more power for her. I love the way she attacks with that fan. She just bops him on the head, then slaps him with her fan. That's gotta hurt. Oh yeah, these bird statues are weak to ice, uh, birdie. But, well, I'm not gonna bring him out just for that. Alright, and after that battle, get another level there. So let's see... Normally that would be HP, but I don't want to go for that, so let's go for magic since you're really more of a magic user. Yeah, yeah, we'll just go with that. All the level up bonuses suck at this point. But anyway, if you try to go through this door, nuts. A locked door, my greatest nemesis. But anyway, okay, now let's actually put that recovery mushroom to use after all those battles there. Well, there's only one more place to go. Let's check it out. Okay, well, here's something that I wanted to show you guys. Some people had requested, or, well, specifically one guy requested it, but... Anyway, there was, since we have a lot of enemies here, let's show off Bowser Crush. Why not? Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, you see, these guys will run away if you uh, don't kill them quickly enough. Oh, well. But yeah, it's more than powerful enough for well, most enemies. But yeah, usually, I never use it. If, I, if there were that many enemies, I'd bring in Mallow. But yeah, most of the battles in here don't have more than four enemies, so I'm not really worried about that. Hmm, I wonder where that guy was sticking that thing anyway. Through a secret passage! And two hidden treasures! Nice! Hey, a whole bunch of cloud people, what are you guys doing here? No, no, I, I haven't, not at all! Oh, well, I thought it was royalty, but I guess it's just him. Maybe his mom's dead. Would be the standard rule of JRPGs. Can never have two active, actively living parents. Absolutely. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'll keep it. I'll remember that for later. Maybe he should go out and take a bath in the spring. But anyway, for rescuing, well, I don't know if we're really rescuing them, but for talking to that guy, we get a flower jar. Yeah, your job is to just sit here and give flowers away to people, I guess. Hmm. Sure, why not? I'll take the key. Why not? You don't want to know. But anyway, let's go over here and save real quick. Do that. And, well, now that we got the key, remember where that locked door was? Let's go put the key to use, then. I think I've gotten almost all the hidden treasures in the game, now that I think about it. Oh. Oh, wait, no, I, I get a chance to do something. I wanted to check my flower points. Uh, I don't think you water eggs. It doesn't work like that. Ha uh ha. -huh. Hmm? Where'd that what hit laughing come from? Hmm. Anyway, let me check here. Um, hmm. How much does this restore? You know what? Let's just use a, a couple of these. Mostly just to clear the inventory space. That's just creepy. But sure, why not? If you say no, he'll just say, oh, okay. Or he or she will just say, uh, no, I'm just, uh, okay, fine. But I'm not going to give you the key to the next door then. For boss time. Now anyway, the first phase of the fight is basically the same as the fight against the cake boss. You gotta hit it five times with physical attacks before you can actually do anything. So let's just start with that. There we go. It's Birdo! I'm surprised they would make a reference to Birdo considering that originally she wasn't from a Mario game. I mean that was, uh, what was the name of that game? Doki Doki Panic? Something or other like that. But I guess now, or at least by this point in the series, she'd become somehow a bit of an iconic character, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, let's see. Birdo doesn't have any weaknesses. Immune to all status ailments, so I don't really care about that. But using jump is good to improve your damage a little bit, so... I suppose if this fight were remotely challenging, I might actually bring in Gino for this fight, but it's not really challenging. Shouldn't that be the other way around? Oh, right, Birdo's uh, mom spitting eggs at us all day. Well, all right, looks like we got the next key. I don't think we can get up to that guy. Does that egg say something? No? Okay. I guess it just uh, crawled back into its shell or something. Whoa! Nuts. There is something above that chest there that I want to get. So let me go back around and try that one again. Eh, whatever. Just one shot the guy, Mario. Or you could just flat out miss. There you go. I knew you could do it. But remember where that last guy was pointing that knife? It was pointing to... 
A hidden treasure! Yeah! Okay! Okay, now I think that's, uh... That's enough there for now, so let's head on back to the save point to save. But can we end, or er, remove Valentina from her throne? Find out next time, and let's play Super Mario RPG! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!